place that'll be quiet out here. Too quiet, probably. Had to get away, though. Get that old anxiety down. Isn't that what the doctor said? Start over? Well, here goes. Pretty lucky, I guess, falling into this. It's so amazing when I heard Gary's speech about how we trap ourselves. It took the words right out of my head. Must be fate, our meeting like that, just so irresistible. Authority does not have to be a person or institution which says, you have to do this, or you are not allowed to do that. This kind of authority, which is external, may appear as or be replaced by internal authority under the name of duty, conscience, or superego. Analysis reveals that conscience rules with a harshness as great as external authorities. And furthermore, that frequently, the contents of the orders issued by man's conscience are governed not by the demands of the individual self, but by social demands. The rulership of conscience can be even harsher than that of external authorities. Since the individual feels its orders to be his own, and how can he rebel against himself? Sorry, ma'am. Didn't mean to scare you. Oh, I'm sorry. Where, where am I? I just... It's Lorenzo County, ma'am. Are you okay? I'm fine. I, um... Uh, I'm, um... Uh, looking for, for Ravenscroft Hall. Ravenscroft? I'm gonna be teaching him. Well... It's about 12 miles back. You missed the turnoff. Oh, I knew I was close. All right. Thank you. By the way, you didn't see anyone last night. I'll pick anyone up. Uh, Young girl, 16, 17? No. Why? Uh, it's just a reporter runaway. Runaway? Yeah, from Ravenscroft, in fact. Just in case, um, you see anyone, here's my number. Great, Ken. Thanks very much. Thank you. Take care now, ma'am. <laughs> Why you girls always shampoo in the kitchen? We'd love to get hair and our food. That bitch, Tina. Why did you have to leave last night? Yeah, and I got my work to do. It's good for you, Susan. Piss off. How do you guys just leave Tina alone? Jesus, this meat's tough. Maybe you're just weak. Oh, yeah? You want to find out, which? I'll take you on any time. I'll have you when I'm ready, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Why don't we all pitch in and send Yvonne to the town? How about it, Yvonne? I haven't got no money. Maybe you're just hanging with the poor folks around here. I ain't hanging with nobody. No shit. You take this money, you take these keys, and 
you get back your bucket of chicken in a half an hour. You run your own errands. Ah, hey, come here. I know you like things nice and simple around here. Simple with you? Let me get me simple with us! Mr. Julian, please. I'll be with you in a moment. Thank you. Have you told him you know? Well, how do you know he's not just imagining this? Okay, let's talk in a few days. I'm sure we'll All right. Pendleton. Welcome to Ravensbrook, Miss Pendleton. Thank you. Um, please call me Janet. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. No problem. Come. Please call me Gary. Please. Take a seat. Thank you. Did you have a good trip? Uh, yes. I didn't get a little lost. It was fine. I'm glad you found us. We've had a hectic couple of months here since we last met. How have you been? Wonderful, thank you. You been okay? Fine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right here. He and Darrow. Five foot five, dark hair. Yes, we discovered she was missing this morning. She must have gone sometime in the night. Right. Okay. Now look, something urgent is coming. Why don't you unpack and settle in? Here's an agenda. And I'll see you at lunch and introduce you to the staff. And I'd like you to come around this afternoon and see one of our group therapy sessions. Watch some of my methods in action. That would be wonderful, thank you. Great. So when your father ran Ravenscroft, it was more of an asylum? Yes, much more. He actually locked them up. God, can you imagine how those poor souls must have felt? Well, after he died, I decided to put some of my theories into practice. Well, you certainly proved it. Ravenscroft has a remarkable success record. Well, we've still got a long way to go. I heard you had a runaway just yesterday. Where'd you hear about that? The uh, officer showed me the way here. Uh, Ken, I think his name was. Ken, yes. Well, she couldn't adapt. I don't want to run a prison. No, you can't. It's exactly what you said at the conference. As soon as I heard you, I knew I wanted to work with you. Well, I'm glad you followed up on it.
something, my dear? Uh, no, I, uh... There's something behind the wall. Behind the... Yes, listen. Did you hear the noise? From behind the wall. Oh, uh, Miss Rayburn is showing a movie in the gymnasium tonight. It must have come from there. Yes, of course. I didn't mean to disturb you. You didn't. I'd like to talk about ants this morning. I thought we were supposed to learn about animals. Well, today we're going to learn about ants. Ants can carry over 100 times their own body weight. Now, that means that if you weigh 100 pounds, then you'd be able to carry 10,000 pounds. Also, every little ant runs with such speed that if we were to run as fast as an ant runs, we'd be going as fast as a Porsche would at full speed on the freeway. Are we really going to cut them open and look in their guts? Really take it. You want no, Yvonne, we're going to eat them. Oh. We won't do any dissection until the fall. They're really gross. They don't even look dead. All right. So, for tomorrow, I want you all to make a list of five examples of each of the mammals. Rodents, felines, carnivores. What the hell are mammals? Oh, anything with tits. <laughs> Uh, actually, Debbie is right. Mammals are the only animals that breastfeed their young. Therefore, any animal with breasts is a mammal. Well, Debbie, I guess that leaves you out. Fuck you! Hey! Girls! Girls, please! Calm down! Girls! Get off the front wall! Fine. Gotta catch it quick before it hops away. first day. Oh, really? Yeah. Yvonne. Oh, Yvonne. Yvonne sees reality as a warped projection of her own super ego. Ah, uh, yes, I understand that. It's just that I didn't expect that they would Oh, be... I'm sure they were just testing you. Well, you handled the situation very well from what I hear. <laughs> really, I wouldn't worry about it. Yvonne is fine right now. It's probably the most exciting thing that will happen here all year. The girls seem to have it in for Yvonne. It's really uh, very peaceful here.
What is this? Is everything okay? Uh, no, what? He's gone. Yeah, she just took off in the middle of the night. Oh, no. Why can't they understand this isn't a prison? You want to have coffee sometime? Yeah. Uh, let me talk to you later. Gary? Hey. Gary, wait for me. Listen to me. You mustn't blame yourself. I'm not going to blame you. This girl is my responsibility. my father's belt buckle. I had it made into a pin after he died. When was that? When I was 14. It was sudden, unexpected. You were close to him? Very. I guess I was a little afraid sometimes, too, though. Yes, it's hard to please a strong father. Even after he's gone. Especially after. I guess you could tell I was upset this afternoon. It's hard to let go. My father was crippled, yet still a strong influence. Maybe I just have too active an imagination. When I was little, it used to rain on our roof. I was sure it was Indian Tom Tom signaling an attack. Imagination is a gift, Janet. Don't be afraid of it. 
It can make you strong. But I'll dare to take Gary. I swear, I felt as if I was... I don't know. Maybe just a bit of an anxiety attack or something. You're strong. It's one of the reasons I wanted you to come here. See, the girls need to see strength and stability in us. Is everything all right, my dear? Yes, Dr. Schaefer, everything's quite all right. Thank you. Good night, then. Good night. Hmm. Hi, when did you start smoking? I'm frightened. What? Maybe ghosts. <laughs> ghosts? What do you mean by that? You know, ghosts. Like dead people. Yeah. Amy, have these ghosts got a name? Do, do you know what they look like? They frighten you. I heard them. I'm scared. Amy's just trying to show us her most honest, deepest feeling. Yeah, what is this? Honest. What is this bullshit? Ever since I got here, people talking about how we're supposed to be free, honest, open, and shit. This is just another prison man, only worse. In jail, they just lock you up. You're messing with my head man. This is a goddamn nightmare. This asshole's got his dick in your brains and you don't even know it. Well, I ain't taking it, Jack. No way. Thank you, Shiro. Appreciate you telling us how you feel. I'll tell you how I feel. I feel like taking a big walk. That's how I feel. All right, now, we must respect everyone's feelings. Tell this me. is not an arena here for judgment. Hmm. Now, who else hates me today? <laughs> You little sucker. All that bullshit about communication. I'll have a rip them off just to pay for my time having to listen to this shit. You shut up about Gary. Why is he listening? Just shut up, okay? You try and rip Gary off or anything, I'm gonna cut your throat. Gary understands us. You don't understand shit. Hey, Fingers! You should become a member of the Icicle Club. What's that? Oh, just a group of us so special and cool with breathing. <laughs>
for the holy men stood up. It's all yours. Wow, wow. <laughs> hey, fingers, what do you say we play explorers? <laughs> I don't know. What's explorers? <laughs> well, there's something hidden in the basement. <laughs>
Schaefer? I had another dream. What's wrong? <laughs> Schaefer, I don't know. I just... Janet, I... I have told you not to worry. I only wish the girls could see their fears and their passions as concretely as you do. The things that aren't even there? It... Who's to say they aren't there? There are many different levels of existence. It seems so real and so vivid. The atmosphere everywhere is charged. Electricity, vibrations, and you are, you are very sensitive, young woman. Is that another euphemism for him? Uh, crazy. <laughs> What's wrong with crazy? <laughs> what is it Billy says? Billy Shakespeare. Be not feared. The island is full of noises, sounds and sweet airs that give delight. And hurt not. Sometimes a thousand jangling instruments will hum about my ears. And sometimes voices be as such stuff as, as dreams are made on. Uh, oh, yes, 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 it's all perfectly normal. <laughs> Maybe because my great idea don't work so well. Gary, there's always going to be one who isn't going to... just one. With Shiro, it's three. You seem to think that these girls are running away from your methods. Well, if my methods were working, they wouldn't be running. Maybe they're running away from something else. What do you mean? A threat of some kind. Like what? Debbie? Debbie? I saw her threaten Shiro the other day, physically threaten Shiro. God, Jen, these are tough girls. Confrontation is second nature to them. Gary, these girls are afraid, genuinely afraid. Look at little Amy the other day. Exactly, that's a perfect example. Amy's ghosts. The only ghosts she's running from are those of her two little sisters, who she tried to kill. Oh, Gary, I'm sorry. I didn't no, know. I agree with you. I'm the something. Me. Gary. It's not Debbie, Gary. it's not ghosts, it's not Indians and Tom Toms. Jen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why do you think these other girls ran away? I don't know. I guess they got spooked. Anyway, they sure don't seem to give very far. What do you mean? Well, you know, Tina, she ran away before you came, and she promised me that she would write me as soon as she got to New York. And it's been a whole week, and I have not heard anything from her. And I'm really worried. Yes, there could be lots of reasons for Yes, that. but Janet, can I trust you? Of course you can. I found something. What'd you find? I found this in the basement the other night, yes. and I gave it to Tina the night she left. I watched her run across the grass and leave. Now, what I don't understand is how in the world did it get back down in the basement? Here, uh, come talk to me for a second. Be careful, Jim. Shit. I'm staying back here. I gotta go. Remember, Janet, don't say anything about this to anyone or else I'll be in serious trouble. With Debbie? Yeah, and Gary, if he finds out about us being down here in this whole party thing. This place is off limits. 
If I blow this thing, my ass will be shaked and baked by everybody. Don't worry. I promise. Here, you keep this. I'm gone.
I tried to stop you. I tried to warn you. You ran. Uh, no. You must never, never go so down there. No, Dr. Shaver, please. Dr. Shaver, no. It's dangerous. Oh, Dr. Never. Shaver, no. It's too dangerous. It's very dangerous. I saw the old man. Man, what are you talking about? You were there. I thought I was imagining it, but he was there too, Dr. Shaver. Didn't you see him? Well, I'm not going to any of her classes anymore. You know, I'm not the only one that hates her. Everybody hates her. We're going to boycott the bitch. Uh-huh. Well, I didn't know your feelings were that strong. I'm glad that you trust me enough to confide in me. I'll see what I can do. You may be right. Something should be done about it. I promise you, Debbie, I'll take care of everything. Why aren't you in class? Janet? Transferred? Yes, you're another facility. You were absolutely right. I just couldn't see it. She'd be much better off in a more structured environment. No. No. Oh, my God. Oh. Anna, what is it? I saw him. You saw him? Yes, I saw him. It was in a dream. He spoke to me. Well, you have a rich inner life. What's wrong? It's only a dream. But, Gary, it wasn't a dream. I wasn't asleep. And, Gary, I didn't even know what your father looked like. But of course you do. No. It's always been hanging there. No. Well, of course it has. You must have noticed it. Unconsciously. I didn't see it before. I've never seen it before. You're upset. There are no such things as ghosts. What you're seeing is some sort of paranoid delusion. Don't you think I'm crazy? Of course not. No, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. It's just...
is, what do you have for me? <laughs> you, whew, you got it. You know, I really love your taste in lingerie. Jim, stop it. Be nice. Thank you. Yes. Gary, I just came from breakfast and Debbie wasn't there and none of the girls know where she is. Remember, I told you she was being transferred. Already? Dr. Schaefer thought it should be done quickly without any ruckus. He had someone pick her up early uh, this morning. Oh. I know it seems abrupt, but with Debbie's pension for causing trouble, I mean, don't you agree we've had enough? Gary, I have to speak with you urgently. Uh, Janet, excuse us, please. By the way, I won't be able to make this afternoon session. I have a meeting in town. Tell the girls, will you? Okay. Um... I've got to talk to him. What's wrong? Mrs. Wrong? Ketter, wait a minute. Mrs. Ketter, hang on. Excuse Mrs. Me. Ketter, please. Excuse Mrs. me. Mrs. Ketter, this is Miss Pendleton. She's a teacher here. My son, has anyone seen him? He's been missing since last night. No runaway note, no nothing. Oh. Some of his friends say sometimes they come up here to party with the girls. Oh, well, maybe, but Mrs. Ketter, I'm sure they haven't been anywhere near here in the past few days. You just want to check with the girls? Of course. Let's go, Mrs. Ketter. Get out here, no telling what happened with those dirty little girls. They're crazy. Like that one just running around loose. Dr. Schaefer? Oh, he's a doctor now, is he? Ten years ago, he was just another loony. What do you mean? I mean, they used to have that one locked up. A patient? They used to have them all locked up. People were a lot safer then. She's just a little upset. Keep your eyes open, OK? Um, Let's go, man. <laughs> Oh, good job, Fingers. That's great. Hey, that's Tim. You know him. Yeah, that's Debbie's boyfriend. Hold on a second, okay? Ken? Ken! Dr. Schaefer, a patient here. Was Dr. Schaefer a patient here? Did he tell you that? Was he? Was he? Yes, he was, uh, years ago. One of my first big successes. Brilliant man, and my father didn't know how to deal with him. You mean you cured him? Completely. Are you sure? Of course. No, he acts strange. And now the Ketter boy from town is missing. They think he might have disappeared out here. What does Dr. Schaefer have to do with that? Well, what if he did come out here? Fingers said he was Debbie's boyfriend. Maybe Debbie knows where he is. And Ken was looking for you. Gary, where were you? Calm down. Calm down. You're racing. I was in town. I got something. Something for you. Me? Do you like it? Yes, of course. Kind of. I want you to marry me. Gary, I... Shh. Thank you. 
come on. You are the one who always said we were supposed to be free. Freedom has its limits, Debbie. I just didn't know what the limits were. Now you know. If you find me, I should turn the girls against Janet. I was wrong about that. I can see that now. I was, I was way out of line. And I'm, I'm sorry. All I ever ask is that you respect what I'm trying to do. To acknowledge the fact that I really can help you. Believe that. I always have. Hey, you helped me a lot. I'm grateful. I just... I just got a little crazy about Janet. And maybe I was wrong about that. I bet I was. And I'm going to give her another chance because that's what you always said that Raven's Grove was about, is giving people another chance. You still do believe it, don't you? Huh? You believe it, don't you? You wouldn't go along with the program, Debbie. You see, if you do not get better, it looks like my methods are a failure. Silly Debbie. I don't kill people. Let me alone. Think. Think about what you've done. Oh, Christ, no! Get out of the kitchen! Very quiet, Debbie. Quiet. No! Think. Think about what you've done. I move. This is important. She's in a more disciplined environment now. She'll have to experience the contrast with Ravenscroft. But maybe she knows something about the Ketter boy. Gary, his poor mother is worried sick. He's probably gone looking for her. Well, if so, he'll be home within 48 hours. Janet, you know that, right? I mean, would I ever do anything that wasn't best for any of the girls? That wasn't best for you, would I? Gary, I just... Would I? It's just... Would I? Ken, yes. I meant to call you back when I was interrupted. Yes, I've talked to all the girls. They don't seem to know anything. No, they don't know anything about him, either. Yes, Janet told me. Well, as a matter of fact, she never seemed that unhappy to me. I thought she was one of my more 
successful cases. Well, when you're dealing with the psychic, you never know. I mean, he had a streak. It's difficult to tame. I'm not sure you'll find it. Debbie. This says she ran away. This says that all of the girls had the same problem. Gary, what is going on here? They did have the same problem. I didn't transfer Debbie. She ran away. I failed with her. And with the others. Gary, there is something going on here. Something that you won't admit, and I want to know what it is. You deluded Janet. Paranoid as some of the residents. This is scary. Where are they? Where are they? They need to think about things. That's the only way they'll ever get well. To be alone, to think. The method works. I know it does. That's how my father made me better. That's your methods are insane. Insane? What else? Crazy? Deranged? Am I that too? No, my darling. There are no such things. Just fantasies and delusions that can all be cured. A little time. A little time. To think. Yes, of course you're right. You're right. I, I just need time to think. Oh, God, Gary, everything's been happening so fast. It's all been swimming around. Please, just let me rest. Just let me think. Of course, my darling. Take your time. Think. Ken? Yes. I found out some things. No, not directly about Tim, but I don't know, strange things. Listen, I'm scared. Um, no, no, I'm leaving here. Can you, uh, can you meet me at the coffee shop? All right, what about later tonight? What time? Okay, good. All right. Thank you. Why are you doing this? You're paranoid, Janet. No. No, I want you to come inside. No, I won't. Janet, don't run. It'll be all right. Janet! Janet! No! Janet! I just want us to go. We're going to be. Believe me. Jerry, please. I just want to leave. Please, just let me go. Let me go. Of course. You want to leave. Run. Run. Just like all the rest.
wasting your time. We're all in the gym watching a movie. Thank you.
Schaefer, three girls and Tim are all we found. We'll just have, we'll just have to keep looking. And they could still be alive. They? I'm sorry, I mean, I mean he. Excuse me. Okay, what's happening? I spoke to them. They want us to go up there. Ellen, your daughter. Gene, where are you? Oh, my God. You know, Janet, I've been thinking. Um, you ought to check with the, uh, the local school. I'm sure they could use a good teacher, you know. Hey, you might not think so, but um, this really is a very, very peaceful little community we have out here. Yeah, I'll take you up on that. Thank you, Ken. It's just the dose of peace and quiet. <laughs> Big dose. 